הנעילה, הנעילה של יום הזיכרון. וזה טרנזישן בין יום הזיכרון ליום העצמאות, זה עוד יותר קשה. וכאן שנה אנחנו יכולים להגיד שזה יותר קשה, כי הפעם היא יותר קשה, והסופר היא יותר קשה. So how do we transition from Yom, ha- Yom HaZikaron to Yom HaTzmaut? And as we were planning this evening, I didn't have an answer. I thought, I was like, well, what are we supposed to do? Like, what, what, what do you do? Uh, how, do how do you change, how do you fix that? And then Danny had an idea. And he said, why don't we bring in the Sefer Torah? Let me tell you a little bit about this uh, Sefer Torah. We have two incredible Jews over here, Adiel and Netanel, who both Netanel lost uh, a friend, Ravel Shalom Nafal Bakav, and he decided, I want to try to write a Sefer Torah, Le'ilu Nishmasa. And then he realized, he said, this is not just my personal pain, it's not just the pain of what I have, it's, it's a national pain. So they decided that they're going to write one Sefer Torah, and they're going to be Magdishet to all those who fell defending Am Yisrael and defending the land of Israel. And they made this beautiful, it's a Sephardi Sefer Torah, but they made this uh, beautiful, I don't know, how do we call it? Dick. What? Dick, the Sephardi called it a Dick. Yeah? So, uh, with, with all the fallen soldiers' name and a little, a little gem to remind them that each one, each Chayat over here is, uh, is a gem. And I, and I think if there's anything that can bring us to Kuma, if there's anything that we can do to go from this Yom HaZikaron, So Yom HaTzmok, today we were really thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu for the land of Israel. The only way to do that is to focus on the one thing that is our constant throughout Jewish history. What's guaranteeing our future? What's guaranteeing our future on this land? It's one thing. This, the one constant throughout all of Jewish history has been the Torah. The fact that we're loyal to the Torah, that we're keeping the Torah. What's What's our right to this land? When we get up and we say, the land of Israel belongs to the Jewish people. There are protesters yelling the others. Other, other words, what's our right to this land? This parchment. This holy parchment that says that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave the Jewish people the land of Israel. This is our right to the land. And when we write these letters now, we're doing the same thing that your grandparents did and your grandparents, great-grandparents did. All the way back to Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu also took this ink well and the same ink and the same feather and he started writing the letters of Sifri Torah. And that's what we're going to do today. So that the way to connect from this great suffering is to turn to the one thing that always gave the Jewish people their resolve throughout history. What did the Jews do after the Holocaust? What did they do after Zillot Tachetat? What did they do after the Inquisitions? What did they do after the Pogroms? What did they do throughout Jewish history? What did they do even in times of Tavar They clung to this. They clung to the Torah. And that was our lifeline throughout history. And that's going to be our lifeline today as well. And I think what's super unique, and this is what Joe told me as well, he says, when did this all happen? When did it all start? That's the first Torah. We were meant to dance with these letters. We were meant to dance with the Torah. But that was taken away from us. So the way to commemorate the future The way to guarantee that we're going to be able to continue to grow and to prosper is through a commitment to the Torah. That's going to be our transition, that every year we're going to have a Yom HaTzmot and B'Zat Hashem also the Yom HaTzmot and 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 the Yom Ha